Hey guys, Tony here from Tony Tech Bytes, and in this video, we're going to be going over the cameras of the OnePlus 7 Pro and the iPhone XS and comparing the image quality in pictures, videos, and also selfie pictures. And uh, before we go over that, uh, let's quickly go over the specs of both of these phones since we have to get that over first. The main camera of the OnePlus 7 Pro has 48 megapixels with a maximum aperture of f1.6, optical image stabilization, as well as electronic image stabilization, so it should be pretty steady in video but I have found it is a little bit shakier than the iPhone XS since the iPhones have had optical image stabilization for at least a couple years now whereas with the OnePlus 7 Pro I think this is the first version that OnePlus is made with optical image stabilization and also for the telephoto lens of the OnePlus 7 Pro it has 8 megapixels with a maximum aperture of f2.4 and also features optical image stabilization and for the ultra wide angle lens it has 16 megapixels with an aperture of f2.2 and an effective field of view of 117 degrees. And for the pop up front facing camera for the OnePlus 7 Pro it has 16 megapixels with electronic image stabilization and an aperture of f2. So for the iPhone XS it has two 12 megapixel cameras on the rear side. The wide angle one has an f1.8 aperture whereas the telephoto one has an f2.4 aperture and they both feature optical image stabilization. For the front facing camera of the iPhone XS, it has 7 megapixels with an f2.2 aperture and for video recording on both of these phones you can record 4K at up to 60 frames per second which is pretty good if you want to capture silky smooth footage. So now that I've went over both the cameras, so now that I've went over both of these phones cameras, let's quickly look at image samples and I'll let you guys decide on what you think is the best and I'll give my conclusion at the very end.
So now that you've gotten a chance to look at all the image samples that I had in this video as well as the video samples, hopefully now you can see which you actually prefer, the iPhone XS or the OnePlus 7 Pro's cameras. From what I can take from these samples, the iPhone XS generally has a warmer tone in the colors, whereas with the OnePlus 7 Pro, it's a little bit cooler. And this is kind of personal preference, you prefer a warmer tone, which is generally better for portraits or a cooler tone, which is better for anything really. And even if I set my studio lights to a really cool color, the iPhone XS makes them look really warm, which is kind of weird. Uh, but if you're taking many portraits, I think the iPhone XS is a little bit better because a warmer skin tone generally looks a little bit more pleasing. So for a couple of these pictures, especially on the bay when I was kayaking or when I was taking pictures of the ocean, you can see the difference in the blues. This is definitely where the color temperature comes into place. And you can also see there's more saturation and contrast on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So if you prefer straight out of the camera looks that don't really have to be edited, I think the OnePlus 7 Pro is definitely a little bit better. And also for the highlights, there's more highlight detail for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Whereas with the iPhone XS, the shadows are a little bit darker. Sometimes it looks a little bit more natural on the iPhone XS, a little bit more processed on the OnePlus 7 Pro. But yet again, this is kind of personal preference. And for a couple of the food shots as well, I preferred the colors for the OnePlus 7 Pro. They looked a lot more punchy and vibrant. Whereas with the iPhone XS, they looked slightly more realistic. I mean, if you don't want to spend the time to edit, then the OnePlus 7 Pro definitely makes the food look a lot better. And if you want to have a more flat color uh, friendly photos, the iPhone XS does a little bit better. And for the video comparison, I prefer the iPhone XS for sure because it's definitely a little bit sharper and more stable because the optical image stabilization is more mature than on the OnePlus 7 Pro. And generally people agree on this because iPhones generally have the best video quality. And as for sound quality for the videos, I didn't really capture sound because I feel like if you're genuinely interested in sound quality, you'd probably get an external mic and hook it up to your smartphone and also get a dead cat uh, or other wind protection to prevent wind noise. And with the samples that I recorded, there was a lot of wind noise in both the phones. They pretty much sounded identically. So yeah, if you really prioritize audio quality, I would just get an external mic because they do sound substantially better. In terms of low light conditions, they both did pretty good, but I did prefer the iPhone XS a little bit more because the colors look a little bit more natural. The photos that the iPhone XS took in the Monterey Bay Aquarium were a little bit darker, but they were more realistic and that's actually how it looked. Uh, the blues were a little bit darker and richer. The dark blue in the OnePlus 7 Pro started to look a little teal. But for the clownfish picture, I did prefer the OnePlus 7 Pro since it did look a lot more vibrant. So at the end of the day, it's kind of personal preference because both of these smartphones did a really good job with the camera quality. I really did like the OnePlus 7 Pro with the quality of dynamic range. You definitely did see a lot more details in the shadows and the highlights. And the photos generally looked a little bit more saturated, contrasty, and brighter. Whereas with the iPhone XS, you get a slightly more natural look and it's also better for video quality. And for portraits, they're kind of tied because for one example, I did get a better portrait with the OnePlus 7 Pro and the bokeh did look a little bit better. Whereas with other examples, the iPhone XS did do a better job with the portraits. And I find that the iPhone is a little bit more consistent in all the photos. They generally did look pretty good. Whereas with the OnePlus 7 Pro, you had a lot of good ones, but some of them were kind of weird. So if you want to pick up any of these phones, I'll link them in the description down below for your convenience. This was just a quick camera comparison between the OnePlus 7 Pro and the iPhone XS. And uh, let me know in the comments which one you preferred out of both of these. So thank you all so much for watching this camera comparison between the OnePlus 7 Pro and the iPhone XS. Please leave a like and subscribe to support my channel.